Hi, I'm Black Bright, and yes, I've changed my hairstyle. Don't want any comments, but I know you will. But still, I felt like I was in a fiery mood, so I decided to wear a fiery hairstyle. And yeah, if it's the first time you're passing through my channel, um, you're welcome to subscribe, like and share. I tend to talk about almost anything. I'm born in the UK of Jamaican parents, so I tend to talk about both issues. Um, and yeah, I like to think I'm fair and unbiased, but you know, we all have our biases and our beliefs and our values, which sometimes seep into our videos, but I don't wish to offend anyone. And I just wish to say my little piece. And remember, it's always just my opinion. It's never a state of fact. But yeah, um, talking about, they've just found the leaked Windrush report. Now, the leak Windrush report, um, apparently there are certain people who have been in the country before the age of 13 that should not be deported. But of course, the Windrush report isn't finalised. It's just been leaked and it hasn't been published. So the flight may go ahead on Friday. No, not Friday, Tuesday, I think, the 11th. I'm losing all track of time. Um... What David Lammy is saying, he's saying that people, children who came into the country um, before age 13 and who are cr uh, foreign criminal offenders shouldn't be deported. I'm not sure if I agree with that, depending on the degree of the crime. My issue with the deportation is that the people who are being deported may not be eligible for deportation and may be illegally being deported. That is my issue. If they committed violent crimes and all that kind of game, yeah, I believe that they should be deported. But not if it's petty offences. And not if, like in a lot of the cases that they're saying, people committed crimes several years ago. They've done their time. And now they're being rounded up to be deported. Now, I don't think that is right. You know, all well and good since the um, Windrush, not the Windrush, sorry, the Hostile Environment Policy 2016, or was it 2018? 2016, I believe it came out. All well and good um, people who committed crimes after 2016 and who are currently doing their time, like say, for example, the hostile environment policy came out in 2016 and they went into jail 2016 and then they're coming out now four years later, 2020. Yeah, then they're, yes, of course, deport them. But I don't see how you can round up people who have done their time years and years, several years ago. And then put them on the plane for deportation. I don't get that. And I think that is what is unfair. You can't all of a sudden change the rules midstream and say, OK, they committed a violent offence 20 years ago or 10 years ago. So we're rounding them up now and putting them on the charter flight. I think... In my personal opinion, it should be current, current criminals, last, say, four to six years, maybe, stretching it over a little bit, give them a little bit of the, credit, you know, benefit of the doubt, six years. Anybody who's committed a crime within the last six years, yeah, and it's, and it's a serious crime, deport them. But I don't see how you can go back to somebody who came into the country between the ages of 3 and 11, committed a crime maybe over 10 years ago, and you're scooping them up and putting them on the plane. I don't think that's right, and I don't think that's fair. And that is where I have an issue with deportation. And the thing is with deportation, there's no way you can get hold of the people to even talk to them. They're all hidden away. It's very, very strategic. And they are being abused in those detention centres. And they're treated like criminals on the flight. And they're being assaulted and humiliated and all sorts. 
and then at the other end they're received and because of the way they're entering the country they're received with resentment, hostility and who knows, probably disdain. So that is my issue. So it says the recommendations in the report means that people set to be removed may be able to stay once the process is complete. But they've taken so long to bloody approve the report. And that's all things, you know, with government. It takes ages. It shouldn't take two years to approve a report. The report is either accurate or it's not. OK, you go through a couple of revisions, make sure the wording is right, and that's it. So what's taken so long? And it's their fault for dragging their feet. They probably didn't think that there was going to be another um, charter flight so soon. So who knows who's been dragging their feet? I don't know who's responsible. But you can't now say, oh, because the Windrush report hasn't been finalised, you can't deport people. You should have made sure that that report was published within a decent time frame. And I think a decent time frame is within a year. How long does it bloody take to do a report? Anyway. A man called Joseph Nembard. I think he was 32 or something. was issued with a deportation order due to an alleged assault several years ago. Another man who came to the UK aged 11 was convicted under the now unlawful joint enterprise rule 10 years ago, for which he spent two months in prison. Not four years, which is the criteria, two months. And he was guilty by association only. He happened to be either with the person who did the assault or maybe knew about the person who did the assault. He didn't actually do the assault himself. He did two months, which tells you that that crime wasn't serious that he committed and yet came in the country at the age of 11. This crime was committed 10 years ago and he's on that flight for deportation. They didn't give his name. That's what I mean. So the flight's due to fly out on the 11th of February. There's nothing we can do. I don't know. We're finding out bits and pieces. I don't know how we're finding out these bits and pieces, but thank God we are. But it's not going to make a difference. Well, I should say, I hope it makes a difference. I hope somebody does, you know, have the balls to investigate it further. You know, somebody of a higher authority who cares, who's actually genuine and who cares that the deportation is legal and who's checked the credentials of the people on the flight, make sure that they've all got all of the credentials that they need and that they are foreign criminals and they've done serious crimes under the criteria for deportation. That's all I've got to say. Bye bye.